What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And it is Thursday afternoon. Uh, man, the sun's out. Good Friday is tomorrow, so you know what that means. Um, man, we, we, I mean, well, at least we don't. We don't eat no meat. So tomorrow, man, we are going to grub on some heavy uh, seafood tomorrow, man. Crab legs, shrimp, all that stuff, man. Hold on, let me clean the video lens because it looks kind of funny. All right, it looks, it looks a little better. So how are you guys doing today on this Thursday? Um, it is actually like uh, 5, 6 o'clock right now, Eastern time zone that is. And I actually dropped a video this morning that I was actually supposed to drop yesterday. But, you know, the Wi-Fi was down and so I couldn't drop it yesterday. So I went ahead and I dropped it first thing this morning. And that was pretty much just pricing out how much it costs to do the door panels in that, that Dodge Bighorn that I did the door panels uh, with the vinyl with the... 3 8 and the two tweeters in it very nice build so make sure you guys check that video out because um if you ever just want to get some door panels built or if you're going to build them for somebody it's good you know to have a little bit of uh extra knowledge on how much you know it costs on both sides of the fence so you know what you're getting yourself into as a installer and as a customer so i actually just wanted to tap in with you guys man because you know we are a family and you know Family must discuss family business together. And, you know, this is like the mafia, man. You know, so we got to just stay informed and, you know, we got to <laughs> share thoughts with each other. You know, that's why you guys drop comments and that's why I ask questions. And, you know, you guys answer to the best of your ability and, you know, we, we get stuff done together. So, um, man, I just had a few questions for you guys. And I wanted you guys to go ahead and, you know, drop comments and let me know what you guys think. Um, man. I think we should really try to step the channel up a little bit more so I might actually slowly very slowly start you know um, having a couple of my friends involved with the channel you know bring them on there so it's not just me you feel me you know we need a good you know vibes we need some funny moments we need some more funny people we need funny action we need action we need all that stuff to the channel to make it grow because Man, just watching car audio stuff every single day, yeah, it's cool, and, you know, you get to get a glimpse of everything, but along the way, it doesn't hurt, you know, saying, to see a couple things here and there, um, you know, funny, uh, sad, action-packed along the way, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, this is YouTube, man, so we're really free to do not everything, but just about everything, just as long as we stay within the, um, the guidelines of YouTube, you see what I'm saying, because they did actually put a lot of guidelines in this past month so um, a lot of stuff that was allowed previously is actually not allowed no more you know and you know me that I try to do YouTube every single day you know we adapt to that stuff not necessarily that we say we do a lot of crazy stuff on the channel but at the end of the day um, we can't really get down like that but we're gonna slowly transition into it you I mean know Obviously, this is a car audio channel. Um, pretty much, it is a, like actual just a car lover, car la, car lover channel. You know, we go to car shows, we do builds. Um, you know, I show you cars here and there. By the way, um, I already started getting a little bit more active on my other YouTube channel and on my other Instagram, which is Mousetrap TV. And if you want to go ahead and pause the video. Or you know after the video gets done the mousetrap TV link will be in the first comment of this video man and just go over there and just you know subscribe to the channel and definitely turn on that notification bell man because um, man there's lit content on that there's I think there's probably like a few videos but obviously I still got a lot to go and I got so much car content that is ridiculous and a lot of you know fire whips that are here from Florida man that you know you guys you know need to see um, you know because it's good to see different styles of rides from um, all over the place, man. So, you know, tap into that to that channel and the Instagram and, you know, check the whips out, man. Good stuff. And all those videos are actually recorded by me. You know what I'm saying? So this is all just not stuff that's coming from the Internet. It's stuff that I've recorded along the way. Um, a lot of unseen footage, footage that's been like two years, but it's still good footage. You see what I'm saying? Um, I think I actually have a video on there. Of the Florida Classics, where uh, Scat Pack was doing donuts, and then after he did the donuts, man, that man took off because um, the people, the police, man, were chasing him. And you know, on there, that's a good video. And plus, there's plenty of 
whips on that on that video as well so check that out pump up the channel a little bit more guys uh, we do have Easter weekend this weekend and we are going to get you some real fire car content block party videos but those probably are not going to come at least to like mm, Monday Tuesday area you feel me so you know stay tuned for that uh, tomorrow I may actually just do a vlog of what I you know do throughout the day you know cutting hair wise you feel me um, but it gets it gets good you know what I'm saying like it, it's pretty decent so you guys will get a, a little quick glimpse of what uh, you know your boy does when we're not doing car audio but but today today we actually secured another job um, that we are gonna start doing right after we get done with this console that I'm gonna get back on on Monday because um, it is Easter weekend and man I had to buy baskets I had to get eggs um, I had to get this and all that stuff for the kids prepared because you know um, at their schools they do the little egg hunts and you know we got a lot of family activities going on this weekend so I gotta you know um, stick with the family like I always say my family is important so you gotta make sure you have make time for your family because you know family comes before anything so we got that going on the weekend so Sunday we're actually gonna chill with the kids we're gonna get a lot of this stuff done and then you know come five six o'clock we're actually gonna get you know dripped out and then we're gonna hit the block parties up uh, like I said, they have one in Sarasota that everybody always hangs out. So we're going to go check that one out first. And then after that, man, we're going to slide to the St. Pete. And then we're going to go get content over there, man. So I'll have probably enough content that I can drop at least probably like two videos from that. And so you guys can enjoy that and see what goes on in these streets of Florida, you know, that, that don't get seen a lot. You feel me? But like I just said, like I just said, we actually secured a whole other job. Uh, it's the same owner of that red OBS that we actually just built that titty panel for for those sundowns mids that was great um, man that titty panel came out good um, he said everybody's you know been giving compliments on it everybody says it's fire and you know now you know he wants to go ahead and start working on his other truck he actually has it was a county truck and he says when he had it it still had like the county logos uh, the county strobe lights um, it was just like, you know, your own base, basic, you know, county truck that he bought from an auction. And then he said he slowly converted it, put in a body kit on it and everything. And, you know, he, he decked it out. And um, so basically it's a, uh, a white, it's a 2010, I think he said, 2010 single cab Chevy uh, Silverado 1500. Uh, it did come with the V6 in it, but he actually went ahead and did the... Uh, the 5.3 in it and man the motor is like all decked out the motor you know it has a 5.3 on it um, it's painted he makes a lot of the billet pieces so he did uh, uh, billet polished pieces in it um, you know put spark plug wires in it um, engine bay looks really nice you know what I'm saying like you know you really can't say nothing bad about it um, he has like a nice hood scoop um, and vents that he built for it he said he bought the hood scoop and then he made the vents for it um, and it has the lower body kit it's actually an SS bumper and he put it on there and it you know looks fantastic the truck is like all white and it is sitting on some 24 inch US mags man and you know US mags is actually a pretty good wheel um, he has the cow tracks in it um, he has wheel wood brake kit but just on the rear he says he's actually waiting for the new uh wheelwood brake system to come in for his front and he's actually doing the 16 inch uh, i think rotors or calipers something like that a real big decent size um i don't know if it's the 16 piston ones but he does have like heavy duty uh brake lines going into it and it looks you know really badass um what we're actually going to do to it is we are going to build a titty panel for it he actually bought a abs titty panel that they sell online but it just goes pretty much just screwed in from the sides and you know it just you know has ds18s on it but it's just like your standard titty panel that i guess you can just buy online but we're actually going to modify it because it actually you know it's more center and it actually pops up way too much and it doesn't actually come with any tweeters so what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and slice it along the bottom so we can drop it down a little bit and then we're actually going to do these uh, sundown dome tweeters on it um, because he doesn't really like that bulky uh, bullet tweeter look he just wants a nice smooth look 
and you know he always his always main things whenever we do these TD panels for any of his trucks um, that center seat it has to fold up because you know he has his kids that ride with him to truck shows or the truck meets that we have out here and you know he always likes to take his kids with him so that's always a must you know the TD panels can never pass to where the seat cannot close and you know I actually had a lot of people ask questions if the seat closed and yes it did close man that truck you know like it, it's you know um, as I talk, you're seeing images of the truck just so you guys can get a better visual, like, visual of what um, the truck looks like. Um, but, you know, now, you know, let's get into the bed of this dude's truck. So the bed is like linexed and it looks really nice. But really what stands out and I feel what's the key focal point of this truck is the tubs in it. You feel me? So it's got a C-notch on the back. And, um, you know, he's actually a welder and a metal fabricator, so he does a lot of the stuff for it. But um, I've seen pictures online of his truck before I actually seen it in person. And, you know, when I seen it today, um, so it's got the C-notch. So obviously you need to cut the tubs out of the factory bed because um, when it's dropped that low, the top of the tubs obviously hit the, the top of the tire. And he has like a nice size tire on the rear on those US mags. Um, and I think they're like 24s or something like that. But so, you know, everybody, if you always see a lot of these uh, Taquache trucks or the drop Chevy single cabs, you know, a lot of them tend to cut the tubs out and they replace them with aftermarket tubs. And then they put like that dog house in there um, because it's like really dropped from the back. And they get like. Um, tubs that have like nipples or cutouts or little graphics on it but these tubs that he actually fabricated himself he basically just cut the top of it off and then made like a skeleton out of you know metal um, on there and I actually was all like dang that's actually pretty badass you know it's different you know what I'm saying I you know been watching these drop trucks and being a part of that drop truck culture for the past two years and I've yet to see someone with it so honestly I really feel he's the only one in the world or in the truck game but there's probably out there someone that exists so don't you know mark my word for it that has tubs like this but as you're seeing in these videos man you see how it just looks really good and it's actually powder coated like that red that you know it, that's all over the truck so man it looks like awesome and just like I told her, I'm like, man, listen, dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, this truck stands out. So, you know, and especially the way how you have your tubs going on, like, man, you know, like, this this truck is like a magazine type of truck. Um, it has the cow tracks in it. It has the wheelwood brake system in the back. Um, nice roll pan, the wing on it. Like, man, it is like a real deal eye catcher. You feel me? So I told him anything that we do with this truck, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, car audio wise we actually just really need to sit down take our time and do the best of the best for it so there's never no flaws in it um he wanted to do like the headliner red but i'm like man no you got to do it black bro because you want that stealth look at the same time and he wants the titty panel like the whole truck's like black inside and he wants that titty panel wrapped in like red vinyl which is fine don't get me wrong but me as his fabricator you know and you know i feel like i got that design eye and i told him man you know i really think we need to do black um try to stay as far as away from doing so much red because sometimes doing so much of the off color that your truck is is way too much you see what i'm saying we still want to keep that nice clean look in it and he would wanted to do the um the headliner and like red vinyl or something like that but I actually threw him the idea. I'm like, look, man, you know, we really need to put the material that, you know, um, are in supercars. Because um, I'm a big fan of supercars, like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, um, you know, all that stuff, man. That I love that type of stuff. And um, what I try to do is I try to look like a lot of these supercars and get curves and ideas, how switches are put in there, how stuff is built in it. Um, so one day maybe I can, you know, build a car or a console where I'm like at liberty free, freely to do whatever I want. And, you know, one day we're going to build something that's really, you know, eye catching and like futuristic, like a mothership board or something like that. But anyway, so I told him, man, we need to go ahead and, you know, do the, uh, 
the headliner in like that Alcatara. Um, and Alcatara is actually like the suede fabric material, but more higher end that they use in all like the lambs, um, the G-Wagons and all that stuff. And that would really set it off in there because no one really has that. And that Alcatara, man, it's like very fine. It is very expensive, but you know, you get what you pay for. And like I said in the other video, man, it costs to be the boss. So hopefully here soon, man, you know, we're going to go ahead and get that truck started. Well, actually like in the next two weeks, I think we're going to start it. So then you guys will actually get to really see more of it. And once he comes, you know, I'm actually going to like lead him into hopefully um, be open and be on the videos, man. You know, I'm going to try to slowly creep in with people and um, man, get him on the channel because some people don't like the camera all in their face and being in the camera, you know. And since I'm really the only guy that does YouTube out of like my circle, um, it's sometimes awkward for them. But man, I'm going to slowly break the ice with them, man, because they need to be on the camera. You know, so we have funny moments and everything that you guys would probably like like to watch. So we're going to slowly work on that so we can try to get the video, uh, the YouTube channel pumping. Because um, like I said, we're going to start exploring new stuff, man. It's time. I know we can get the views. We have the audience, which is you guys, and it's awesome. So we're going to kick it up a, a notch. You feel me? So, I mean, I'm not scared to try new things. If it don't work, we're, we're, we'll regroup and keep trying. All right, so I'm gonna actually end the video inside the house because it's actually hot outside and it's actually causing the camera to get internally hot and it just shuts off. And you know, it's it's like the third time that it happened already uh, during this video. But anyway, so yeah, we got that uh, white single cab that you guys just seen a few uh, images, video clips on. Um, and that truck is, you know, fabulous. So we're gonna get that one on the channel. Um, we're gonna transition and hopefully try to get a few new faces on the channel so you guys can you know be a little bit more uh, entertained you know because this is YouTube and you know we gotta create you know good content for you guys you know what I'm saying so you guys can you know be eager and um, want to watch the channel a lot more and you know actually tell them hey man tell your homeboys hey um, man watch the channel man this dude's crazy they do some crazy ass stuff in there man honestly I feel once the channel is popping and you know we're making a little bit of revenue from the channel itself man i'm gonna go buy a suburban and i may even just put like 24 12s in it um sundown subs man probably put like three ten thousand tear amps in it and just terrorize these streets and all these car shows put mids and highs everywhere and really shut you know shit down whenever we go out um, but man, it's it's in the future plans. It's it's gonna happen no matter what. You know, we even with my truck, the Silverado. Once we get the cram in there, put in, man, we're gonna shut shit down. Like we are gonna let people know that we we run this here. You feel me? It's gonna look good. It's gonna sound good, and it's gonna take over the internet. And you know, you'll see. You know, I got a little few plans for the Silverado that. Man, we, we so I will catch you guys on the flip side. It is Easter weekend. It's actually kicking off today. I'm going to make these eggs, uh, get everything ready. Tomorrow we got to cut some hair. Saturday I got to do some shopping. I may take you along with me just so you guys can see, you know, my ordinary life. And Sunday we're going to get down. Man. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.